salad cooler. Look at this thing's really different. It's just this little rail unit. And then the compressor and stuff's gonna be down in here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get it apart. This is gonna be pretty neat. Something different. Kind of sits in an angle in the kitchen, see? Let's check it out. I mean, empty keg fits into there. I'm gonna pull it off the wall and get the access panel. Okay, got that panel off. There's nothing to this thing. You got a little compressor. I took the cap off. I got a gauge up on it. You got a compressor, a thermostat, and a condenser fan motor. That's all you got on this. And then the rail gets cold. Um, and you got an on-off switch. And that's it. So let's, uh, let's fire it off and see what the pressures look like. I did see one problem before I gauge up. Look at the outlet. That's where the air is supposed to come out. And those louvers are all plugged. Big time. I'm gonna have to get those cleaned out real good. I'm getting my brush going here. You can see all the scuds coming out of the louvers. Get her cleaned up. Condenser looks clean. I gotta get those louvers cleaned out too, though. See, a little bit of scuzz there. Okay, so we're running. Suction pressure is going way down. Either like it's low on charge or a restricted cap tube. I'm letting it equalize out. Got the analogs out today because it's just kind of fun. So we'll fire it off. And what I like to do is. Turn it on and get it running. So we're back to running. And we know the suction pressure is going to come down. Now with the static rail, you might be around a 10 pound suction, which would probably put us at about, yeah, somewhere around a 10 degree evaporator. Here's a good sign the cap tube's feeding. See some frost? So we're probably low on charge. It starts here, and then it's gonna come around the rail, come around, make its way around, and back. And what we'll do is, I got some gas out. It's 134A, and we're gonna add to this thing. there and see where it comes around. You can hear the compressor sound get better. Let's see how she does here. Okay, now we got some gas in there. So my pressures are looking like now. We'll see how the how the pattern comes out. We're gonna see if this evens out. It looks like it's starting to. We'll check our frost pattern. I'm already back. Well, so we can leak check that whole section. If there's a leak in the tubes here, party's over for this thing. 
that's all you can do for it. At the age of this, you're not going to be cutting stainless out the grinder to look for a leak. This one's an old timer. That's it for that little rail cooler. It's about all you can do on it. Give it a leak check, leaks in the rail, party's over. But anyways, that's about it for that one. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and have a great weekend. Back in 1978, I used to skate and I used to create. I saw that sticker on the side of a van. Grass. Nobody rides for free. Ask gas so grass. Nobody rides for free. Ask gas so grass. Nobody rides for free. Ask gas so grass. Nobody rides.